welcome the adorable John Ham, everybody. John Hamm. Lord, man. Two of them. Yeah, I know. You look great. I might be even be in one of them. I'm not sure. <laughs> are you in? Are you, you're in both of them. Or I think you, I am. Yeah? I think I am. Do you watch films when you're in them and then, you know, rub yourself in oil and go, I'm a movie star. Look at me. That, that was literally my Tuesday night. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'd do if I wasn't on this. <laughs> well, sorry, I spilled uh, stuff out of my snake. Uh, and that was, that was weirdly my Wednesday night. Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> now for your puppet. Oh yeah, thank you. Yeah, yeah. That's uh, all right. Yeah. Hey, let's be Bond villains. <laughs> all right. Yeah, I'll, we'll be Bond villains with. <laughs> this uh, the hair on this pig is very disturbing. Well, actually, the, the peg is modelled uh, after Gustave Flaubert, who had a contempt for the bourgeoisie, as does this peg. I didn't realise that Flaubert had pubes on his head. That's why he had a contempt for the bourgeoisie. I would imagine. Because they would often, the French bourgeoisie would often go by and go, Ah, look, there is Flaubert with his pubes. <laughs> now, give me that. <laughs> so... The, uh, how, are the, uh, how are the movies doing then? Are they making any money? Are you getting any cash? Buy yourself a boat or something? Uh, yeah, the first thing I did was buy a boat with, uh, with, uh, with all the cash. Uh, yeah. when, you make, when you make movies about poetry, yeah. uh, generally they back up wheelbarrows full of money for you. <laughs> I can imagine. Just, yeah, well, you know. You know, it's, there the, isn't the a boat town, big the town, enough. The town's going to make a lot of money, though. The town is doing very well. Yeah, it's very, yeah. uh, very exciting. Everybody was very happy. And yeah. it's a good old bank robber, cops and robbers shoot em up movie. Yeah, that's it. Uh, that's your commercial movie, but your more independent type thing is, is Howl. Howl has less cops and robbers. Right. Well, in what's it. Howl about? It's a, a book, uh, uh, about a poem? It's about a poem. Mm -hmm. uh, Allen Ginsberg wrote a, wrote a poem in the, in the late 50s uh, that was widely considered to be uh, horribly obscene at the time. See, and, I, I uh, can't imagine why I don't know this poem. <laughs> <laughs> Does it have Nantuck it in it? I think I no, know. No, no, poem. Different no, 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 different poem. Different poem. Different poem. Uh, but it was, and, and over the test of time, of course, it's come to be uh, seen this beautiful work of art. And so right. there was a big landmark court case that the, the film examines as well. I play the, the lawyer who defends. Did you get to say, I don't know much about your big city ways in the court? I did. I did. That got cut out, unfortunately. Really? Yeah. And the, the great These part jerks, of. jerks, that would have been the best part of the movie, too. I got to, I got to do the thing with the suspenders. The suspenders, too, nice. So. Yeah. On the floor, cut out. They took that out as yeah. well? Gee, Real shame. Jerks don't know how to make movies Real shame. these days, man. Real shame. I know. Hey, um, do you read a lot of poetry? Do you do that? Because I, I, I always, I, I want to like poetry, but a lot of it, I'm like, oh, please. My, uh, my poetic knowledge uh, consists mostly of the poems that have the word Nantucket, Nantucket in them. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so this was a bit of an education for me. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But it was, it's, a, it's an amazing sort of work of art, and it's, it's the kind of things like poetry isn't really sort of celebrated anymore in, in the current American culture. And it's well, nice if you that can, this movie if you can get it. it in 140 characters or less, exactly. then you can do it. Are you on the Tweety? I do not uh, tweet. Uh, you got to do that, man. Well, it's, I, 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 my thumbs hurt when I get it up to about 100 characters. Yeah, uh, well, you do, the, do this. You think? Yeah, do this and then get a phone. But you, <laughs> you can't do that while you drive, though, because no, 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 then you, you got to drive with your no, knees. You, and no, you, you, do mustn't, you mustn't tweety when you're okay, driving. Okay, no, okay. no, you can't do that. We'll no, when you're driving, you've just got a phone. Fine. Yeah, you just got to call people on the phone. Do you have a... Uh, do you have a smartphone? Do you have games on your phone and stuff like that kind of thing? Uh, I do. In fact, I have one that I think we might have in common. What? Angry Birds. No, I, 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 just, I just downloaded Angry Birds. Oh, get ready to waste some time, my friend. It's, I, I, I got one, I got one where it's, it's, I just started it, it's just like you, it's like a little catapult thing. You, you fling, it's, it's a per, it makes perfect sense. Uh, some evil pigs have stolen... <laughs> Let's act it out. Some evil, pigs right, evil pigs have stolen uh, some birds' eggs. <laughs> sure. <laughs> and of course, what what way would you would you try to get the eggs back by then launching yourself through a catapult at the at the castles that the pigs have constructed <laughs> to keep the eggs, thereby smashing the pigs? You see, it makes perfect sense. Do pigs build 
castle? Of course they do. They're pigs. Pigs don't have opposable thumbs. How the hell could a pig build a castle? That said, they are very uh, clever. Yes. And clearly devious of these, as they've stolen eggs. Yeah, but pigs, well, A, pigs wouldn't be able to steal eggs because they, they've got their little hooves. Right, but I mean... Would you ever have a pig? No. Why not? Here's why. Okay. They're adorable when they're little. Yeah. Then they're 800 pounds and they're like a Volkswagen ro rolling through your house. Yeah. And also... See, that can be adorable if you like that kind of thing. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> hey, have you ever been to the Liberace Museum, by the way? <laughs> I have not. Oh, it's great. Oh, it's I've, I've heard, I've go. seen, yeah, yeah. it looks amazing. They, he, the the uh, Stars and Stripes glittery hot pants are there. You should wear them on the Mad Men show. People would love that. <laughs> and it was kind of that time period. Sure, yeah, no, uh, that's a good, that's a, actually a wonderful suggestion. Thanks, man. <laughs> Glitter me up. Hey, I will. I'll bedazzle you, biatch. You won't recognize yourself. Can do. All right. Um, what? Where were we? We could have an awkward silence if you want. Oh, wow, you were right into it right there, man. You didn't even wait. Okay, hold on then. Dave, how you doing? Oh, yeah, Dave's here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you? Who was the lady that was gonna flash you? Oh, the lady, lady over there who, who, who That was her. Yeah, she did, she didn't flash me. Our no. safety. Oh yeah. yeah, classic. Yeah, she's doing of that course. kind of. Oh, it's nice. raining and my clothes are wet. She's turning very red at this yeah, point. Yeah, I know. I think I embarrassed her. I feel terrible about it. No kidding. Yeah. <laughs> All right, shut up. Uh, do you uh, do you get a lot of people making fun of your name with a ham thing? Not a lot. Yeah. It's like that character in the Monty Python sketch, John Smoke Too Much. You ever Mr. see that? Smoke Too Much, yes. <laughs> yeah. Uh, no, it's, uh, yeah, as a little kid, because it's, oh, yeah, it's uh, like you know, it's easy. Thing, that's, yeah. that's a softball to a yeah. third grader. Yeah. Uh, but, uh, yeah, ham and cheese. Yeah. Ham sandwich. I, my, uh, I have two M's, though, so that was... Uh, oh, that, that was, would throw off the kids. That's, They'd be like, know, whoa, it's not spelled I don't same. understand. Is that how you defended yourself? Absolutely. Yeah, you yeah. Just, you know, it's got two M's, you got two jerks. M's, come on. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Right, we're done. We did it? Yeah, that's it. <laughs> oh, all right. Done out, everybody. <laughs> How long have you... My first guest tonight is a terrific actor, a really good, very handsome, nice guy, really good, smells like um, lavender. Yeah, lavender. Yeah. yeah. He's going to host the ESPYs tomorrow night at the Nokia Theatre here in Los Angeles. The great John Hamm, everybody! John Hamm. Save it for later. All right. How are you, John? You look very great, well. Man. Thank you very much. Look Likewise. Really? Yeah. We're just saying that for Hollywood reasons. Sure, but. <laughs> no, but I'm, you're welcome. No, but I'm not just saying it to you. You do look great. You. That's look... impossible. <laughs> what do you mean? That is it impossible? I was just in India. I mean, I'm I'm a shell of myself. What do you mean? You, what were you doing in India? I was making a movie. Really? Yeah. In India? Yeah. Is it a Bollywood movie? Are you like? I, I wish. I wish. I do that even though it's not a Bollywood movie. That, and that's what's going to win you the Oscar. <laughs> Just for fun. Yeah, yeah. What's, Just for fun. what's the movie? It's called Million Dollar Arm. It's, a, it's about a, a, a sports agent from L.A. who goes to India to try to find cricket players and turn them into Major League Baseball players. Is this like King Ralph? <laughs> In a lot of ways, it's like the Indian King Ralph. <laughs> Do you remember King Ralph? I do remember King Ralph. That was when John Goodman taught these British fuddy-duddies how to rock and roll. And, uh, and did it well. Yeah. Although I think the British 
pretty much knew how to rock and roll, didn't they? They, they had their own version. Well, they got the Beatles, didn't they? And Led sure. Zeppelin and stuff. The, ro the Rolling Stones. Rolling Stones. You ever met any of them? I have. I met uh, Mick Jagger at uh, Saturday Night Live once. Isn't he? He's quite small, isn't he? He's <laughs> small. He's the same height as you, sitting down. He's, he looks. He looks like you could probably break him. Yeah, yeah, but so you, you don't think, want to. But you think that, and then he's like, he's oh, a dynamite. Yeah, yeah. He's like, he's like a little tiny rock machine. He is ninety-seven years old. Ninety-seven years old. You're absolutely and right. Still rocking. He went to uh, elementary school with Larry King. <laughs> The name of their elementary school was Stonehenge. Stonehenge. <laughs> wow. I, I I found all this out when I met him. Really? Yeah. He said he oh, went and went to school with Larry King at Stonehenge. Yes. Yeah. He's just yeah. forthright. He's friendly. He, he, he opens up. You see, and you're like that too. This is one of the things I like about you. You're open. You're friendly. You're not like those other showbiz douchebags I could mention. Should we start mentioning people like that? Yeah. Why not? Well, Larry King. Larry King. Uh, Do you know Larry? Larry's great. I've never, I've never met Larry. Oh, you, he's a very surprising character. One, you love baseball, right? Yes. Larry is an encyclopedic knowledge of baseball. He's because well, he's been around since Stonehenge. Right, exactly. <laughs> he Coincidentally, where they invented baseball. <laughs> Think about it, it's a circle. Oh. Exactly, yeah. They used to run the bases. There were a lot more bases back then. Right, okay. Yeah. And they built him out of rock. But that wasn't America. Are you saying America's pastime was invented in good old Britain? By druids. That's exactly what I'm saying. <laughs> think about it. It makes sense. If you think about it. Dude, you're pretty high right now, right? <laughs> I may have had a little too much blizzard. Yeah. <laughs> How's things going? I like your pocket square thing. Thank you very much. Yeah, yeah, you're good. You're good. Uh, things are going well. Yeah. Um, I'm, I'm hosting. Uh, oh, who's in the ESPYs? Of course, course. right. Yeah, yeah. That's Which, right. by the way, yeah. now I know how difficult your job is. It's Why, I'm not hosting the ESPYs. Right. <laughs> but you host. Really? Is that what this is? I think I just kind of like mess around for a bit. Uh... <laughs> Well, it's a little more tightly structured, I think, than Yeah, well, than you've got to give awards to people. That's a thankless task. Here, here's what I don't have to do. What? Give awards to people. They have other people doing that. <laughs> well, I you literally don't know exactly what I'm doing. I come out at the top. You do, do a monologue? I'm, yeah, I do a monologue. Right? I make some jokes about uh, athletes who could very easily beat me up if they were offended. <laughs> yeah, but they're not going to do that because they're going to want to look like they're good sports. Well, and that, that also, I'm on a stage, so if any of them get up, Kick him. No, I'm, I'm out. I can go back, go backwards. So they have to climb the stairs. I'm gone. Is this show live? Because I think I can watch live. this. Yeah, I... It is live. <laughs> You're doing live TV? Yeah. Have you ever done that before? I have. I, except for this show? <laughs> I have. I've, uh, I've, I've uh, been on Saturday Night Live a few times. Oh, yeah. Uh, well, that's, that's Saturday Night Live. Live. Wait, not on this coast, it isn't, girl. That's true. Yeah. <laughs> Because by the time anything goes wrong, they cut it out, and everyone in California was like, nothing happened. Right. Nothing happened. Oh, you're right. And it's, uh, it's unfortunate. Yeah. Because we want to see the stuff. You but chose the like... pink cup? I chose the pink cup. You're a secure dude, aren't you? Oh, that's good. That's good pink water. I chose the pink cup. You chose the cup made out of a snake. It's only because I've got a big giant penis. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's why. Yeah. <laughs> Enjoy your pink cup. <laughs> Buddy, my pink cup's doing just fine. Yeah, I know. <laughs> so, you're a big sports fan then? I didn't know you were such a huge I am. sports fan. I am. I'm from St. Louis, Missouri. We well, have, then you uh, are going very, to be, yeah. Very, very uh, uh, tradi huge tradition of, of baseball in, in St. Louis. Yeah. I'm a big fan. And, uh, and I'm, I'm honestly, I'm, I'm excited because uh, I like all sports. We had All a, sports? What about that thing in the Olympics where they run around with a ribbon? That's not really a sport. That <laughs> yeah, was kind of fun to watch. Uh, for a little bit, but you, it's not like you get invested like, oh, who's going to win the ribbon no, you, twirling thing? You grab a pink mug, a couple blizzards, yeah. an evening of rhythmic gymnastics is not far off. Yeah, but that's like a completely different thing. the Olympics, thing. okay, the Olympics, uh, like this year, I got into really into archery for some reason. Hunger Games? Maybe. You know what? Yeah, I that's probably it. Yeah. You could probably watch the Hunger Games. You're like, Katniss, what's going to happen? And then you're... You make a good point. Yeah. I did, I did, I I did, did for some reason start screaming Katniss a lot. <laughs> you went to that then? You, you watched the Hunger Games? I've never seen it. I just know Katniss <laughs> is the name of the name. I'm not a 14-year-old girl. 
I know you look pretty comfortable with that pink cup, though. <laughs> you noticed I accented yeah. the 14-year-old part. Yeah, what? Not oh, so you are? Yes, exactly. Oh, I see saying. what you're saying. Actually, yeah, I see what you're doing. I'm I, I missed biologically it. a woman. <laughs> so this hosting thing tomorrow night, you're going to do a song and dance and stuff? Absolutely not. That's what people want from hosting now. They want a song and dance. I New know. Patrick Harris at the Tonys, he's up there singing and dancing. He's a showman. He's he, very, he very much is. Justin Timberlake, another. Those are two excellent examples of hosts. Right, so... I am the opposite of that. <laughs> I see. A poor example of a host. That said... Yeah? It's gonna be great. <laughs> well, I admire your pluck. <laughs> Thank you very much. And also your enthusiasm. But I have to say... Make that, that sound effect again? I was digging that earlier. What the? That one? Yeah. You want to you wanna get that into Mad Men. That, that would be great. Add that to Mad Men. When some, you know, bad, bad stuff goes down, you like, turn to the camera. Do it now, do it now. Turn to the camera. Oh, I can do it better. All right, do it better. I can do it better. All right. So you're saying I should... I'm always better on take two. Yeah, see, that's what, that's good though. You're right. I think I think Mad Men needs more sort more of, uh, sound effects. Sound effects. <laughs> <laughs> it's really what's been missing. So that you, now you'd win some awards. Uh, yeah, we'd, we'd really we have to it. take a we have to take a break. Oh. Yeah, but we'll come back. Okay, good. We'll be back with John Ham, everybody. <laughs> I'm here with John Hamm. I don't know if you can tell, but during the commercial break, I unbuttoned my shirt because John, John's shirt's unbuttoned, and we're friends. Uh, and, and during the uh, during the break, I, I adopted a Scottish accent. You can probably hear it. Yeah, I do it pretty well. Better than most I've heard, to be honest. Yeah, yeah. it's not bad. See in St. Louis, where you come from. Have you been up that big arch there? I have. Was it good? <laughs> it is. Because I, uh, I was there and I thought, well, Did I go you go up? up? No. Why? I, I was scared. Uh, well, that's fair. You know, when you get up there, it moves like this. What moves like, like this? Sway. Oh, the arch. The, the arch moves arch. like this. Yeah. <laughs> I think that's your third penis reference in, in, in the segment. That is impressive. <laughs> yeah, I'm a man who makes penis jokes. I'm going to tell you. No, the, the whole structure sways about six feet side to side. Well, I don't want that. That sounds horrifying. It's I, amazing. Are you... Are you frightened of heights? No. Well... I mean, I don't actively seek them out. Well, you wouldn't, like, climb a tall building just no. for... But, but you, I would go up into a 630-foot parabolic arch. You really know about this thing, right? From there. You're kind of taught it when yeah, you but when I'm you grew up from there. Scotland. I can't tell you the height of the building. Yeah. <laughs> well, two or three feet. Yeah. <laughs> you, ever um, been, you ever been to Scotland? Because I've been I've to never St. Louis. Been, no, no, no. I've well, been I've been to St. Louis. Why haven't you been to Scotland? You never invite me. Well, you never invited me to St. Louis. I went anyway. Yeah, which is sort of rude, honestly. I know. A little bit rude. Well, you should go. I'm inviting you now. Do you play golf? I do. Really? I've just started. And? I'm not that good. <laughs> That's not surprising. You have yeah. to keep at it. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to keep at it for quite a long time. Fortunately, there's a lot of places to practice in Scotland. Yeah, yeah. And in L.A. And in L.A. Although I don't like driving around in the buggy. Do you like driving around in the buggy? No, I prefer walking. Yeah, me too. Driving in the buggy makes me feel like a milkman. <laughs> Nothing against America's milk deliverers, but you know what I'm saying? When is the last time you had your milk delivered? <laughs> and that does sound filthy. It and does I sound a little dirty. It does sound a little dirty. I mean, look, I, I could make the joke, but I think you kind of made it yourself right there. Uh, no, uh, Milkman? That's what it makes you feel like? Yeah, Milkman used to deliver milk in little electric carts, where I'm from. Really? <laughs> yeah, the Shire. I'm from the Shire. And they used to deliver milk. Hobbits used to come around I didn't, with milk carts. I didn't know hobbits yeah. had electricity. Hobbits had electricity, and they would come around and deliver your milk with their big hairy feet. It just does not sound sanitary. That was the way it was back then. <laughs> uh, no, so what's your, your handicap then? What's your handicap? Uh, I got down 
uh, to about a ten. Man, that's pretty good. I was pretty good, and then I and then I started actually working for a living, and so yeah, I couldn't yeah. play golf anymore. Uh, now I'm about a 15, 16. See, that's what I'm trying. That's my goal to get to about that because it seems like everybody. And you can have a good, you can right. have a couple good holes, and then you'll have a couple bad holes. But right. yeah, it's, it's that makes it fun. Right, I can't get to that. Though. Sure, you can. Thanks, man. Yeah. <laughs> I really, think we both learned a lot you today. You really made me feel better. I, I, I'm, I'm, that's why I'm here. Really? Yeah. <laughs> SBs, all that stuff, that's garbage. They were, they were like, Craig needs to feel a little bit better. He didn't, he didn't mean it. He didn't mean it. No, he I, might have meant it a little bit. A little bit. But, uh, well, listen, we're out of time. You want to just hug? Yep. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> we'll be right back, everyone. My apologies to Georgia King. We're going to have her back on the show on August the 1st. Uh, she was going to be on the show, but you yacked too long. Would you like a chocolate dollar? I do. It's a quarter. <laughs> so I'll, well, take I'll take another three, then. <laughs> now, you're probably wondering why I'm smoking a pipe. Why are you smoking a pipe, Craig? Because I'm being dramatic. <laughs> you certainly are. May I suggest you could do a bit more pipe smoking in Mad Men? Uh, With a sound effect. What would the sound, what would the sound effect of a pipe smoke be? Let's find out. <laughs> I don't think you're doing it right. <laughs> I'll try it again. I'll try it again. <laughs> nope. Nope, you're clearly doing it right. <laughs> I'm so proud. <laughs> Say goodnight, John. Good night, John. Good night, John. John, it's lovely to see you. Um, me that was me sitting down. Do you always make that noise when you oh, sit down? Oh, yeah. Really? I'm going to try it too then. Try it. <laughs> I like it. See? Is it too soon to call you Sir John? I think it's far too soon. So you're not going to be knighted by Her Majesty no, the Queen? No, not that I know of. Oh, do you know something different? No, I was just making something up. Oh, good. Yeah. No, I don't think you're allowed to. You're an American, aren't you? Well, I think, uh, didn't uh, Steven Spielberg get a knighthood? Yeah, no, I think he got uh, uh, an OBE. Yeah, an OBE. Is there a complete... You're, that's, not, you're that's... down with OBE? Yeah, I've got an OBE. You know me. Oh, yeah, I've, I've got an OBE. I'm an OG OBE. <laughs> the weird thing about OBE is they're down with OPP. Uh, your game. <laughs> So, uh, how are you, pal? We, can't, we couldn't show uh, a clip from the new season because people go mad for spoilers and they get all yes. upset, so we had to show a clip from the old season. Where I got fired. Yeah. But you're obviously still in it. We don't know that. <laughs> well, you, I mean, you're, I'm here. You're here promoting I should it. probably be shooting. Sh shooting what? The next uh, episodes. Don't say it. Don't give point. it away. Well, I was traveling. I've been out of town. Where have you been? Bottom town. <laughs> It's a, it's a suburb, it's a, it's a Scottish suburb just outside of Dallas. Oh, really? Uh, it's, yeah. funny, it's funny because I was just wondering if the internet was looking for a new rumor. There you go, internet. <laughs> You're welcome, internet crazies. <laughs> hey, you know what was on the internet? You and that Dayton show, did oh, you see Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, I saw that. Yeah, yeah, I got the clip. Do you? Yeah, yeah, you show the clip of the thing. Welcome to the big date. All of today's players are here because, well, frankly, they want to hook up with a member of the opposite sex. We're going to do everything we can to make that happen. How about you, John? You're on a first date, marries the girl. You want to really impress her. How do you make her feel special? Well, start off with some fabulous food, a little fabulous conversation. What else fabulous, John? End it with a fabulous foot massage for an evening of total fabulosity. <laughs> ah. <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> that, that's one of the best shows I've ever seen, man. I, and that's how I met your mother. Yeah. <laughs> Quick massage, eh? Like, you've been with your lady for a long time now. Do you, yes. uh, do you still give her the old uh, foot massage? Absolutely. Really? I, I Only if I can get the ball in the net afterward. <laughs> I pay attention to the show while well, I'm back there. You, you're going to throw me because I don't pay attention <laughs> to the show. Now you're making reference. Well, maybe you can explain what the uh, the band is then. You can't see the band, but you can hear them. They're very shy. They're, they're shy. Thank I understand you. that. Stage fright's a real thing. Is it really? Have you ever suffered from it? No. <laughs> not even when you were... Did that woman pick you, by the way? Oh, no, she did not. Would you have picked me? No, I would not pick yes, it now. now. Yeah, it's but then that was 1995. Still... I was all of 24 years old, and uh, making some questionable decisions with my life. No, you you're just trying to find your way in Hollywood. The best, I think, the best thing about that whole thing was like thinking of whatever intern was going through the stacks of videotapes from some production company in <laughs> North Hollywood somewhere, yeah. trying to upload them to YouTube. Like, ugh, I only have 10 more cases of these. Wait a minute. Yeah. I can't. Hold on, go back. Uh, boss, you're going to want to get in here. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, did, you, did, your, uh, did your lady, uh, did she know? Did she know that you were? Uh, yeah, I think we, we, yes. I think I had told her about that uh, years and years ago. She may have put it out of her mind, but uh, well, it was well, well before we were, we were dating, obviously. Well, yeah, because. We've been together 16 years. But that's, this was. That's, yeah. Going on 20 years 20 ago, years that ago. Was, yeah. I'm very annoyed that you didn't get picked, though. It seems not fair. <laughs> oh, uh, I'm not. Think of how the world could have changed. Talk no, about I don't think it would have changed that much, really. <laughs> well, you, you, you would have got right. together that way. It wouldn't have worked out like The Bachelor doesn't, and then you would move on. Yeah, yeah. It'd be fine. Do you ever watch these shows? Are you into the dating shows? No. Uh, are there any dating shows left on TV? I think that uh, put an end to them. Yeah, I may have... <laughs> That might have been Everyone the last was like, one. that's it. Is there one? I guess the Bachelor. The bachelor and the other one. And the Deadliest Catch. The Deadliest Catch. Yeah. <laughs> that's that's I a very strange that. dating game. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know, they're at sea for a long time. That's yeah. absolutely. Any port in a storm. Any port in a storm or maybe just a, a, a mild blow. <laughs> <laughs> Which is weirdly, that was the original Don't title of it. stop it. it. Uh, there you are. So you were traveling. Where were you then? Uh, I was in New York City. That's uh, not really traveling. That's just America. <laughs> Well, that's still kind of traveling. Well, uh, not really. Not for the people that live in New York. Well, I don't live in New York. I have a place there, but I mean... I don't oh, know. really? <laughs> you no, have no. a place in New York and a place in LA? Yes. Look at you, swanky pants. <laughs> uh, it helps to not have to carry a lot of bags back and forth. Well, you don't like holding... Anyway, look, the... Uh... <laughs> No, gen, but I meant gen, traveling, traveling. I mean, like overseas traveling. Well, I was in India last summer. We talked what? about that last time I was here. Oh yeah, we did. Yeah, yeah. You had a good time. Yeah, it was great. Yeah, you know, I did you, not get any uh, gastroenterological. But if you're situation. in New York and you want to relive your Indian experience, food-wise, you go to Sixth Street. Sixth Street in the village. I didn't know that. Sixth Street, it's all Indian restaurants. I think I had my fill of uh, Indian food in India. <laughs> well, you're a racist, man. <laughs> Well, I'm in good company. Well, yes, you are. Uh, we have to take a break. <clears throat> Why? I don't know. Some crikey network insists. <laughs> we'll be right back to join I'm everybody. Welcome back, everybody. I'm here with John Hamm. He's got some problems, so uh, I'm the therapist and he's the John Hamm. This, this is going to be great. Have you ever, are you in therapy? No. Oh, really? So you have a resistance to self-knowledge. <laughs> the unexamined life is not worth living. Who said that? Steve. That's actually correct. Steve Socrates, which was his full name. I did not. I did not I didn't, but yes. he, went, he usually went by Steve. Well, only to his friends. And then his, his other guy that he studied under was uh, Dana Plato. <laughs> oh! She was on different uh, strokes. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> you're, you're bringing me down, man. <laughs> did you watch different strokes? Yes, I did. 
Really? Yes. So did I. It's a great show. It was a great show, yeah, yeah. It's not on anymore. No, no it's not. No. Are you sad about that? Can I have the pipe? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You can't, you can't put another man's pipe no, in your I mouth. You're not going yet. You can, one place you can, can, you can. Obviously, you can. There's no judgment against. No, that. I'm not. I'm not in any way saying you can. Of course, you can. You sure. do anything you like. But Greg, I would put your pipe in my mouth. I don't want you to. I, I don't want you to. I don't want you to. I don't feel we're at that point. That's yet. fair. Uh, so let me ask you this: Have you ever smoked a pipe? Oh yeah. <laughs> really, tobacco? You smoke tobacco? I've smoked tobacco out of a pipe. Yeah. <laughs> when was this? <laughs> When you were solving crimes? Honestly, yeah. it, was, it was in a play my, my senior year in college. You see, that's a bad choice. When an actor makes the pipe choice, that's a bad... Because all the other actors the are like, script. you bastard. It, and I had oh, to what? do the whole thing and pack it up really? and light it on stage. There was a lot of, that could go wrong, but it didn't. And that's what made you the dating game guy you became. <laughs> a lot went wrong there. Yeah. No, I wish I had a pipe. You were just a kid doing your thing. It's all right. Don't be hard on yourself. I'm glad you changed your hair, though. Me too. Yeah. Yeah. Could you still do that with your hair? You could probably could if you could just... There would have to be some extensions. No. Contract no. extension. Oh, contract yeah. extension. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So you, do, you won't get therapy then? I, I'm not... Never say never. I'm having some now. Yes, you are. That's right. Uh, right. right. So, um, so tell me why you uh, hate Scottish people. I mean, the reason, there are so many reasons. <laughs> They're brusque. Brusque? Yeah, well, you have a point. Yeah, all right. Hard to understand. You say that again, I'm going to tell you right off you. <laughs> if you're Scottish, I didn't say a real thing there. I know. <laughs> Uh, mostly it's their, it's just their uh, complete dominance over the late night landscape that makes me, uh, <laughs> makes me nervous. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Anything going on in late night that you've noticed? I heard you were going to take over at 11.30 on CBS. Is yeah, David right? Letterman called me and yeah. asked. Uh, before he made the announcement, yeah. he, he made sure to call me yeah. uh, to ask if I was ready to take it. And I accepted. Uh, so, you know. Well, uh, I don't mind. My, I'm happy to follow you. Yeah, it's going to be great. Yeah, I'll follow you to... Bottom time. So, yeah. Just a couple of guys and a couple of pipes. Yeah, doing their thing. Rolling through the late night landscape. Good to have everybody. is a fantastic actor. He is also an astronaut. He has his own fragrance. Am I right, Jeff? Oh, yeah. He's in Black Mirror, White Christmas on DirecTV's Audience Network on Christmas Day. Please welcome John Hamm, everybody. It's good to be here. Wow! You came out of there like, like a... Like a shot. Like a shot, like a guy with a beard. <laughs> you were like, I got a beard and I don't care anymore. I just can't, yeah, I can't stand still. It's, it's, first of all, it's itchy. May I touch it? <laughs> yeah, it feels a little bit like clean your pots. It's, well, <laughs> that, sounds, that sounds... Well, that's not where I keep my pots. Well, really? No. Uh, clean your pots Closer. for you, sir? Yeah. Closer. No, uh, is, was that for Movember or for a job? Was it for a job? No, no, it's because I don't have a job. Ah, <laughs> I'll be growing a beard at the end of the week. <laughs> be beard, buddy. Yeah. Now, uh, uh, Mad Men's coming to an end. Have you shot the final episode? Yeah, we have. Oh, well, yeah, there we you are then. We sat in uh, July, 
and I've been uh, gainfully unemployed since then. How is it? Are you enjoying it? I heard there was a, a mail carrier job up in Alaska. There is, yeah, yeah. In the town of... Uh, I already got the bit Savunga, I believe. Yeah, Savunga, yeah. I was looking, uh, looking at it, and uh, it looks pretty nice, I gotta say. I think you'd do well in Alaska. One of these? Yeah. Oh, come they, on. They, the beards are very popular, yeah. and uh, plaid, I believe. Plaid, you get a flannel. A bit of flannel and uh, your own team of huskies. I'm telling you, there are worse ways to uh, to do it than that. Yeah, I'm telling. I I like the idea of. See, I'm going to walk the see, earth. There's one. There was only one mailman. I think that's why the guy quit. I think a tag team mailman situation. Hey, yeah. We got I like cover. that. I think we could probably talk some people into doing a tag team with us, John. <laughs> We got one guy. Yeah, we got one guy. That's all. That's all. Oh, you really need. <laughs> you imagine though, if there was a, if a like of a weekend or a weekday, yeah. and you're in Savunga, Alaska, the yep. mailman knocks on the door, and it's you and me. <laughs> Here's your uh, thing, Publishers Clearinghouse. I think they'd be like, well, you're not, you? you're not the you regular guys? guy. Where's Dave? <laughs> Dave? Well, Dave quit again. Dave quit again. Yeah. Oh, Dave. Hey, uh, what's the Black Mirror White Christmas thing? It's very exciting. It's a uh, British television show. So oh, hey, uh, steady now. I know, I know. Relax. Don't be racist. <laughs> wow. Wow. See, words can hurt. Words can hurt. Uh, well, apparently, yeah. Uh, it's 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 uh it started a couple years ago on uh, Channel Four over in uh, in the UK. Oh, yeah, I worked and, with uh, them back in the day. And it's a, it's a bit like the Twilight Zone. So each uh, each episode uh, kind of has uh, standalone. Right. They don't have the same cast. It's they're all different stories, and they're set in the sort of vaguely uh, near future that looks very recognizable. But it's about technology and how it kind of twists and and sometimes doesn't uh, work the way we think it should. Did you make it in Britain? I did. I so, shot it uh, a couple months ago over in, uh, in London. So when you watch British television, when people are presenting shows, did you notice that they start talking like this and finish up talking like this? <laughs> like, all the time, do they, do they ask you to act like that? John, when you're acting, can you start up like this and then finish your sentences like this? <laughs> I, I, I got to play an American, so fortunately, ah, I, 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 I avoided that entire thing. Well, maybe the, you could add that little twist for I'm them. Next, that could be part of the Twilight Zone thing. Next time I have to do a British accent, that's, that's, that's it. Have you ever had to do that? Uh, I had to do that once when I had to work with uh, Dan Radcliffe. But I basically just, oh. I sort of mumbled, and that, that uh, solved it all for me. <laughs> 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 that's very good. Right? Yeah, that's very good. I was like... You sound like Her Majesty the Queen. Do it again. <laughs> no, that's. But you've done. Yeah, I mean, you. Well, I did a talk show. I was. Just, I actually, strangely enough, I was in. Uh, I was just over in England, and I did a talk show. The two of the guests, one of one of which was the Mayor of London. Oh. We're very much school crowd like is that, this. Uh, got crazy hair. He's like, oh, is that Boris guy? Boris John. That guy, yeah. What it sounds like. I'm not kidding. Yeah, he's like, very, very very uh, and the second guest was uh, one James Corden. He's doing the cheese. I know. Guy. He's lovely. I spoke to him on the phone. He's, he's going to be so much better at it. Oh, I think so. <laughs> right? I think so. I mean. I talked to him on the phone, and he and he, he, he said, said he got a lovely phone call from I did. I called him up, and I said, you, he said, I'm very scared. And I said, you mustn't be. I've left the bar very low for you. <laughs> and he, I, what I told him to sort of finish that thought, I was like, you have to understand, no one will be watching. No one will be watching. <laughs> Not at all. I mean, I have driven this thing into the. Ow. Brian. <laughs> And I've known, I've known James for probably three or four years. Just I've known various... him about ten years. Okay, well, so we've both known <laughs> him for some time. Yeah. But I said, about James, 15, 15 rest, years. rest assured, no one else in America knows who you are. <laughs> so it's, you're, you're already, like, halfway home. No one's watching and no one knows who well, you yeah, are. Well, he said, I mean, he said that to me. I'm like, dude, I got this job from being eighth banana on the Drew Carey show. <laughs> It's like it's really. That, said, it's that really, was a really good bunch of bananas. Yeah, it was. Yeah. yeah. One through seven was pretty good. There you go. Yeah. Ah. Finally, the Drew Carey show gets some attention. Finally, the Drew Carey show. What? Did you ever watch that show? Of course. No, nah, come on. I did. Really? Of course I did. I did. Right. I did. <laughs> watching like this. I'm finished watching like this. Watching like this. That one girl had the crazy makeup. Oh yeah, yeah, Kathy Kinney, yeah. Yeah. Thank <laughs> you.
I've known her for about 15 I've known years. Kathy Kinney, it's got to be going on 50 years. F 50? 5-0. Oh. Yeah. Okay, we well, were, thanks for playing. That was that. We I was going to say we were womb mates. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, Secretariat. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Secretariat <laughs> says yes. Yeah. Hey, what was the talk show you were on in Britain? The Jonathan Ross Show. I know. Him. I'm sure you do. He's you guys are in nice. a fraternity of he, talk show hosts. He, he talks a bit, a he's little, a little, a little, a little bit of a pork like that, but he's a very nice bloke. <laughs> he was, he was lovely. It was, a, it, I was there for three hours. I'm not kidding. What? Because we had so many guests and the mayor was on. And what are you going to say to the mayor? Ba well, what you should say to the mayor is essentially, don't you have another job? Yeah. <laughs> you should get back to mayoring <laughs> and not be on a talk show and let the nice American person come on. Well, I, but. The, that's the mayor of London. Right. I think I've known uh, the mayor of London for about 47 years. It's weird because I met the mayor of London right after the war. <laughs> and it was, uh, it was... Oh, 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 was oh yeah, after the First World War. I remember I'm out there, London? yeah. London was in bad shape. Oh, it was in bad they, shape. You know then. what they needed? What? A mayor. A mayor. They needed a... Big time. They, I don't know if he was the right man, but he was the right he man was, then. He was... Yeah. He was a man. He, he was a... <laughs> Oh, yeah, good times. Anyway, um, have you ever been on, um, uh, what's that other talk show? Graham Norton? Yeah, Graham Norton. That, I've done that. I've done that's a two. great show. It was fun. They bring everybody out at the same time. Yes. And we're sitting on the talk show talking about other talk shows. <laughs> uh, yeah, and, and they do, but they bring all the guests out at once and it's sort of a free-for-all. And then you get it done. And then you're done. Then you, then you don't have, because sometimes when I do this oh, one, you can nervous. sense them backstage. Sense them. You get nervous. Oh, we, better, we better mention my project or I shall leave. <laughs> We, we often <laughs> I, mean, I know you guys got off on a Dickensian bench. Yeah, are, they, are they all Dickensian you, villains back yeah, there? Everybody in Hollywood actually. Oh, Magwitch, he's gonna grab you in the old. Very uh, yeah, One of your with testicles Chris is Miss warm. Peaches. One of your testicles is warm, and the other one is it's cold. cold. <laughs> is that a Dickensian cat? Yes, they were evil cats back then. Yeah, they were. They, they, they like ate the, them. They're, they're, no. Yeah, they did. They ate cats. Sweeney Todd. That's well, not he, Dickens, but it's ate. close enough. <laughs> oh, those people. Yeah, it was people. Yeah. I get, I get cats and people confused all the time. That's why I'm bad at YouTube. <laughs> Thanks for playing. That this was is really fun. excellent. We'll be right back with John Hammond. I mean, because it's cool. We're back. What? Yeah. That's right. We're wacky. <laughs> we don't talk about real stuff. We weren't. We were talking about cats, Victorian uh, dramatists, and YouTube, You ever seen any, any, seen any Victorian porn? Because <laughs> it's no... Is, it, is that just porn starring ladies named Victoria? <laughs> because yes. No, I'm talking about old-timey, old-timey, old -timey, you what know. Is, what is Victorian porn like? Well, it's an like, ankle? No, no. No, it's like regular porn, except there's a bicycle with a big wheel and one with a little oh, wheel. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And people have moustaches. Not moustaches. always on their faces. No. That's what I'm saying. That'd be a wee beard, wouldn't oh, it? Oh, a wee beard. Yeah. That's not bad. Oh, thanks. <laughs> have you ever been to Scotland? Never. Oh, you should I was go invited on. to go to Scotland. Oh, I'll invite by you again. Scotland's second most famous person. Who? Tilda Swinton. Oh, I know Tilda Swinton since. Oh, God. Ooh, how long yeah. I think if, I actually have known Tilda for I'm a sure very long time. Everyone yeah. in Scotland knows everybody else. Well, it's a small community of about five million. Yeah. It's, right. Uh, <laughs> no, you, you and Tilda Swinton and Ewan McGregor. Yes. I know all of these people. And redhead McGee. <laughs> Not McGee. Don't. Ever mentioned redhead, redhead Maggie. That bloody bastard! That son of a thing. Person! Son of a person. Well, son we're of all, a we're female all person. We're all sons of persons, really, aren't we? Aren't we? Aren't we? Ah, Craig. Ah, John. <laughs> it's nice that you came by to enjoy some hot porridge. Oh, this is delicious. Ah! Made of the tears of Englishmen. <laughs> Oh, I give it that extra sweet taste. Ah, 
upset Sassanax. <laughs> I dip the I dip the mayor of London in this one. <laughs> he's uh he's quite popular with some he's people. He's incredibly popular, and uh, and and you know what he uh, he's an interesting guy because he kind of just says whatever he thinks. Well, you can't have which that. never no, happens you can't in politics. No. So the one of the his 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 handler his uh, his uh, publicist or whatever was like, do you think uh, Boris could have a run in American politics? I was like, good God, no. No. <laughs> No way. Too crazy. No filter yeah. and crazy hair? Yeah. Nope. Not happening. Have you ever met John Gennar? No. The mayor of Reykjavik, Iceland? No. He's awesome. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I had him on You know the how show. he won? Yeah. Because he got all the trolls to vote for him. Yes. <laughs> but you know what he did? He was a stand up comedian, and when Iceland went what? bankrupt, yeah, it's true. When Iceland went bankrupt, he started this fake campaign, and he was fat one. <laughs> and. And he was so, he was like, his campaign was so, you know, like he said, uh, things like, uh, we'll give away free towels at the swimming pool. And people were like, oh, that seems good. Uh, and he wouldn't let anyone in his cabinet unless they'd seen all uh, five seasons of The Wire. This is like the list of why I like Iceland keeps yeah, growing and growing and growing. Yeah, no, he's an amazing guy. I hear that I've never been to Iceland. That, I we not, should go not, there after Alaska. After Alaska. We'll go to Iceland. Because you know we're going to mess that job up. Oh, yeah. <laughs> And we'll be like, I don't know, we got bored and uh, there's a pile of mail. Anyway, yeah, uh, we're going to Iceland. How many people are in this town anyway? Anyway, guys, come get your mail. It's in a pile. It's got your name on it. Craig and I are going to hit Reykjavik. We're going to go, we're going to the Reykjavik. <laughs> Sun, uh, sun sets at uh, noon. Uh, and then rises uh, rises half past. Yeah. yeah. Can't wait. <clears throat> Doing it. It's going to be awesome. John Hamm, everybody. This is from Robert in Columbus, Ohio. You ever been there? Ooh, Columbus. Columbus. <laughs> you start saying call and then you go to Umbus. Call Umbus. Like that. Call Umbus. <coughs> call Umbus. Call Umbus. <laughs> Hello? Hello, it's Umbus. 